Hey guys, this is the Racing Fan 24042 here back with another video, and this is the diecast haul from Florida that I got from Daytona Beach. So yeah, this is this is maybe going to be a long video because I have a whole ton of diecast that I have right here with me, and. I mean, like, let's just get to the diecast haul that I got in Florida. Um, we will first start off with the 2019 diecasts that I got at Daytona, at Daytona International Speedway. And I'll also show other diecasts that I got at this Daytona flea market close to the track of Daytona International Speedway. So... Let's get right into it. There's going to be a lot of expected and unexpected diecasts that you're going to be seeing right here in this video. And also a lot of unexpected diecasts from me because I was really surprised to get those diecasts. So yeah, let's just jump into it. We're going to show off the 2019 diecast first. And we're going to start off with Joy Logano's 2019 Shell Pencil Ford Fusion. So, I mean, this is like a pretty cool diecast. Um, I got several 2019 diecasts, but not actually, well, I mean, like some, but not, it's not like 20. It's actually less than 10, so yeah. Um, so yeah, it's actually like pretty good. I like the diecast. Um, most of these diecast, all of these 2019 diecasts I've already gotten out of the box, as you can see that there's this right here that I was already opening here at the back of the package so yeah pretty good die cast I'm gonna put it off into the background second die cast that I'm gonna show is the Daniel Hemrick um, Bass Pro Shops and Caterpillar um, RCR Gold uh, or I mean RCR 50th Anniversary die cast or paint scheme um, the gold actually gives this car a lot of um, how should I how should I say it beautiful I don't know this this paint scheme and die is actually pretty good the gold just gives it away it's just so good for paint scheme and die casts just good and it's like one one of the only die casts that I've gotten actually no it's the only die cast that I've gotten that has the NASCAR heat logo as you can see right in between the number and the contingencies NASCAR heat pro league and NASCAR heat.com so, yeah, Daniel Hemrick, um, another good die cast, let's put that to the side as well, beside Joe Logano's. Another die cast, the second, the third one is Kevin Harvick's Bush Beer Ford Fusion. And this die cast, I mean, I could, or paint scheme, let me tell you guys right now. Ever since the Bush Beer paint scheme for Kevin Harvick has came out for 2017, which has been the same paint scheme for 2017, 2018, and 2019. I've been wanting to get the se the Bush Beer paint scheme for a lot of time, ever since 2017. 2017, I did not get it because I went to PTC mode. 2018, I wanted to get it, but I wasn't able to. And now, I got the 2019 version. And it's actually good because it's now dated with the new Ford Mustang. So, pretty good. Um, obviously, I mean, like, this diecast is still on the base or on a, on a little, like, plastic f platform thingy. So, yeah. Um, another really cool diecast, and this actually, uh, first diecast. The second one, or, I mean, the fourth one. Brad Kasowski's Metalite Ford Fusion. Alright, so, this is, as, this has been the same paint scheme ever since 2014. Um, basically, with the white and the blue skirts. So, yeah, ba same paint scheme, but with the four Mustang. Um, another, like, pretty okay, like, paint scheme. Like, the same one with Joy Logano. But, since it's on the four Mustang, of course I'm gonna have to get it. So, yeah. Uh, actually, I... To tell you guys right now, I did not get the 2018 Renner Light paint scheme because I already had the 2017 die cast and it was pretty much the same besides the spoiler. 
So yeah. Um, but now I got another Metal Light diecast, and it's actually pretty good. Let's put that to the side and scoot over some of these to give it some, um, like, to have it in the shot. The fifth diecast is the Clint Boyer Rush Rock Centers 14 Ford. So yeah, same paint scheme as the 2018 car. Or paint scheme. I even have the 2018 die cast of this, the Swiss Truck Centers. But since it's on the Ford Mustang, you gotta know I'm gonna get this. So yeah, I already took it out of the package, like every and every 2019 die cast, and it's actually pretty okay with the 2019 die cast. It, it actually looks like pretty cool. I'm gonna put that on top of the Kevin Harvick one because they're teammates. And now the second to last. 2019 diecast that I've gotten is the Jimmy Johnson Ally Financial 48 Chevrolet C01. And actually, actually, this diecast or paint scheme has been growing a lot on me ever since the go the, 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 the <sniffs> ever since the paint scheme was revealed back in the off season. A lot of people were this were not really okay with the paint scheme, but after a while, people started liking the paint scheme. That's just like me. And now, now that I got the die cast, I like it even more. <laughs> I mean, like, oh my goodness, this is just a beautiful paint scheme with the black, yellow, purple, and pink, and white. My goodness, it's beautiful. You can put that right on top of the Joy Gano. And now, the last 2019 die cast that I've gotten um, for Daytona was the Kyle Bush. 2019 M&M's Candy Bar or Chocolate Candy Bar 18 Toyota Camry. Now, I mean, like, the reason why I got this diecast it was because when I went to the Kyle Busch hauler or die or merchandise hauler outside of the Daytona track, I saw that there was the Kyle Busch um, normal M&M's diecast which I already have. The, the 2017 version, which is the same thing. I have the 2017 um, Eminem's diecast. So, there was that in the hauler. There was this diecast. There was the Kyle Busch Skittles and the Kyle Busch Interstate Batteries diecast. I don't have the Skittles diecast on the modern Toyota Camry. I have the Kyle Busch Skittles diecast on the 2015 and 2016 Toyota, Toyota Camry, but uh, so well. I already have the Interstate Batteries diecast, so I did not get it. It was from 2017. So, I got this one because I really like the paint scheme, how it's different. You can see the yellow M&M and red M&M on the hood. There's also the orange M&M on the, on the other side. So, yeah, it's just, like, like really cool. It drove on the, 20, on the Daytona 500, as you can see right here. Well, here, here are right on top of where my finger is, the reflection. Tw number 18 Eminence bar. So yeah, I got this die cast. It's actually pretty cool. And actually the number, if you can see right here with the outline, it has like a black black outline and then the white outline. Kind of reminds me of the, tw of the 2008 number. As you can see on the die cast, it was silver. But on the car... It had like white. I actually don't know if it was white or silver. On the die cast, it was silver, but I don't know about the color. Maybe it was white. I don't know. But somehow this right, this number style reminds me of the twenty two thousand eight car. Oh well, that's it for the twenty nineteen. And let's get right into the flea market die cast, which is actually all the whole rest of the die cast. I'm actually going to show the flea market diecast that I got with this kind of packaging. And we're going to start off with, this is a diecast that I've been wanting to get for a, for a long time. It's from the 90s. And since they just released it on now, now as a NASCAR Classics diecast, I've been wanting to get this diecast ever since it was released. Especially when Race Day 2011 make, made a diecast review out of it. So... Without further ado, let's show you the Mark Martin 1993 Darlington winner diecast. 
Oh my goodness, I'm just really happy that I finally have a Mark Martin 1993 diecast. Just, I've been wanting to get one in like months. And now that I came out in Now Now in the, Na in the NASCAR Classics um, thing, I've been dying to get this. I was hoping it would come out in NASCAR Phoenix, but since I saw this at a flea market, at the flea market, you guys know this kid has got to get this diecast. So, really happy to get this diecast. I already took it out of the box, obviously, and it's really cool. Not much stuff going around like confetti and stuff, just a couple of markings on the front. Which is cool because the less markings on the race version diecast, the more the opportunity it has to act it like if it was a normal diecast. So that's really good. Um, next diecast, we're actually going to get to some Xfinity diecast. The, the next two are Xfinity diecast, so the first one. The, both of them are from 2016, okay? Both of them are from 2016. The first one here is Bubba Wallace's Roush um, Performance Parts number 6 Xfinity Ford Mustang. So, I mean, like, I actually don't know why I got this diecast. Technically because I like the paint scheme. And I actually did not notice until I opened this up that it has like some markings on it. As you can see right here on the below the S and or the C and E, it has like a red tint, and right on the stripe here, right here where the gray is, you can see like a little black marking. Yeah, some people would think that that'd be an error, but if you go to the other side, you can see that the same things are on the other side. Even on the top, you can see like this white markings behind the number. So yeah, at, fir at first I thought it was an error that I got uh, a die cast with errors at a flea market. But no, it's actually part of the paint scheme. So yay, uh, it, it actually made me a bit better that it was part of the paint scheme and not errors. Because I would have been so mad that it were errors, that I got an error to die cast. So yeah, uh, an okay paint scheme to get. Um, I pretty much did not, I, I mean, like, the pretty much the only reason why I got this diecast, because in one of the, like, the booths and the flea market, there was this, like, sale that said you can get three diecasts for $10, and pretty much the diecasts that were available for, mainly for, from 2015 to 2019, and I saw this one in the 2016 section, or, yeah, 2016 section. And I said, and I was like, eh, why not? I don't have this diecast, might as well. Heck, I don't even have a Bubba Wallace primary paint scheme for the Xfinity series, so why the heck not? So I got this. An okay paint scheme. And now the, this other one, I actually don't know why I got this diecast. But, I got the Brad Kosowski 22 discount tire Xfinity Ford Mustang diecast. Now, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to be like, Bruh, why did you get this diecast? I mean, like, it's just the same thing from every year. Well, here's the thing. You know, you guys remember NASCAR Phoenix when it was being made by Spin Master? And you guys remember back in 2014 when they released uh, Brad Keselowski Nationwide, back when it was a Nationwide series, when they released a Brad Keselowski discount tire diecast? Yeah, that was the last time I got a discount tire 22 Xfinity diecast. That Brad Kosowski Nationwide car. And since it was and since it said Nationwide on the windshield, you know I had to get this diecast just because it says Xfinity. <laughs> Doesn't matter if it has a 20, the Team Penske 50 on it. it. It doesn't matter. I got this diecast already. I don't even have to get an Austin Cindric. At least it, at, at least it's this. At least it's a discount tire diecast. I don't even care if the Xfinity logo is outdated. Like you can see right here. I don't even care. At least I got an Xfinity 22 discount tire diecast. So yeah. That's it for the Xfinity cars. And let's get to the third diecast for the $10. Because this were two. Now let's, let's get to the third diecast for the $10. It's actually another 2016 diecast. Tony Stewart's. Um, Bass Pro Shops, Tracker Bolts, um, 
number 14 Chevrolet SS. Now, if you guys have been watching my recent diecast review, sh um, shameless plug, I, you might actually remember that I made a diecast review on a 124 version. So I'll get it out right here. Just wait. Uh, I have it right here. There we go. There we go. We got, um, as you guys remember, I made a diecast review on this 124 diecast. And it's actually just the same paint scheme, but I decided to get the die, the 164 version. I don't know why, just to go for the $10 for three cars. And also because it would actually match that I have the 124 and now the 164 scale diecast. It's actually kind of neat. Another cool diecast. And. Yeah, I mean, I like, just get this 24 car out of the way, and let's get this diecast right on top of the Jimmy Johnson one. All right, that's it for the 2016 diecast. Oh my goodness, we're not even, we're barely like even scratching the surface of the diecast that I got in the flea market. Let's actually get this diecast in here. This is. Danny Hammond's 2012 FedEx Office Toyota Camry 11 car. Um, I saw this at one of the booths, and some and this booth had a ton of like Gen 5 cars. Well, not a ton. It had like a little like plastic container, and it had um, Gen 5 cars. Um, some of the Gen 5 cars that I remember seeing were like the Trevor Bay number 60. Roush Fenway 25th anniversary or 25th yeah anniversary nationwide diecast Ricky House unit number six um I don't remember the logo but it was a red and a uh, and red and black nationwide paint scheme Paul Menards Menards 2011 or 2012 paint scheme and then this one and since I mean like I just like the the Denny Hammond paint scheme, and I just decided to get this car for absolutely no reason. I mean, like I don't even have a Denny Hammond Gen Five car. Well, I mean, like I I actually do. It was from like two thousand eight that I have one, but I don't have a Denny Hammond Gen Five car with the spoiler on it. I only have a Denny Hammond Gen Five diecast with a wing, not a spoiler. So this is an actual good opportunity to get one, and I got it. So, not bad. Let's get it on top of the Clint Boyer. It's actually filling up the screen. <laughs> you can even see the reflection of it. Alright, let's get this other die cast in here. And I think, I don't know if this is from 2005 or 2004. But, this is Greg Biffle's um, Jackson Hewitt. I think I said that right. Hewitt. Hewitt. I I just said it. The, both of them. I just said them. At, whatever. Jackson Hewitt's um, National Guard. I believe is two thousand five. I believe or maybe two thousand four. I don't know. But number sixteen for Taurus, and just yeah, an actual good, pretty cool diecast. I've actually don't. I didn't have. A Greg Biffle National Guard diecast before. Um, I only have a Greg Biffle Granger car from 2003. I have a Greg Biffle 3M diecast from 2011, but I, I never had a, a, a National Guard diecast. So, this is actually another first diecast. Let's actually shove some of these over here off the screen. Um, at least you'll be able to see just the Danny Hammond, and Clint Boyer and Kevin Harvick right off the, right on the corner. Let's put the Greg Biffle right here. You can see the car, so you'll know what die cast it is. Um, alright, so let's get this other die cast in here. I don't know if you guys will know what die cast this is because it isn't even showing. So, this is a... Uh, I actually won't tell you guys right now. This is a Maxwell House diecast. Um, there is the price, but I don't care that it's showing. Um, you guys can already see that it's from 1992. If this thing can focus, 
Winston Cup Series or Winston Cup Post 1992. You can actually notice it was from the 90s and it was from the Cup Series or Winston Cup Series. Dang it, and I just... Okay. Alright, I just spoiled it for you guys. It's the... Might as well just take it out of the package. It's the Sterling Martin number 22 Maxwell House Ford Thunderbird. So yeah, I was hoping I was able to show this car once I diecast reviewed it, but since I just showed the name accidentally, might as well just show you guys. Actually, I'm really surprised when I took this diecast out of this package. I was actually really surprised that it hasn't been damaged at all whatsoever. It's a clean, super clean die cast, and it's actually really beautiful, really nice with the with the two tones of blue. So you can see the primary blue and then the dark blue stripe going around. So yeah, really good die cast. It's got rubber tires. Really nice. Put it that back into the little box here. I'm pretty sure this was a promotional item. I don't know. Maybe it was. I mean, I could isn't showing the diecast. Maybe it was a promotional item. I don't know. It doesn't say anything. Collector's edition. Eh. That's what could be. Um. Sure. Alright, this is the last. So I just dropped the diecast. I don't know which one it is. Whoop. It was the Ryan Blaney <laughs> Robo win. Penske Racing. I'm pretty sure you're triggered right now. F. As I just dropped it. There we go. I'll check if there's any chips on it later. But this is the last die cast that I got that is on this packaging. So yeah, this is actually a pretty typical die cast. It's the Coke Zero Sugar 400 promotional die cast. So yeah, I got this with the program. Um number 19 for 2019 it's actually pretty cool i mean like you can see 19 fall program car wait fall you guys see that right 19 fall program car are you guys sure it isn't from the summer what how about what fine what okay then so apparently that one else screwed up and said that this was from the fall I guess these guys weren't that patient and decided to pretend that they were in 2020 instead of 2019 ha! so yeah um again uh, let's get let's get away from the fall thing this I guess is actually not bad I mean like the paint scheme matches with how the logo looks with the coke zero sugar um colors but i don't understand why it doesn't have like at least some sort of patrioticness ar on, around the car not even in the number they could have at least put like the american flag in the number but no it's all black red and silver i mean like i like the i like the like the combination of red black and silver or red black and red black and white but why there isn't any red, white, and blue in the car? I mean, like, whatsoever. I mean, like, there isn't anything on it. Just red, black, and silver. Oh, well, then. I mean, like, I, I mean, like it isn't a that bad of a diecast, but, again, it could have been a little bit better. Let's actually put this diecast underneath the Maxwell House diecast so that it doesn't fall. There we go. That's it for the diecast for these packaging. I know this diecast, the Sterling Martin diecast, wasn't a part of this, but still similar to this packaging. So I just decided to put it in here. So let's get to the diecasts that are in the, another type of packaging with the normal type of packaging you see in stores. So let's start off with the NASCAR Phoenix that I got over there at Florida. I actually went to a Walmart and got and was able to see if they had 164 um, NASCAR Authentic diecast. I don't know why I said 164. Now now doesn't even do 124 NASCAR Authentic anymore. What are, what am I saying? So yeah, you know what I mean. I wanted to see if they had NASCAR Authentic diecast, and they did. Um, actually, at Walmart. 
say it again, Walmart, not Target. Oh my goodness, this video's already been 25 minutes long. Wow. Um, gonna go ahead and show you guys. It's the Jamie McMurray McDonald's diecast from the 2018 Wave 7. And Austin Dillon's um, Dale Earnhardt Sr.'s 1995 or 96, I believe. The silver car from 2019 Wave 2. So yeah, both of these cars are really good. I know they're covering up the screen and covering up the other diecast in the background. But uh, they're both really good. I mean, who could, what can go wrong with these two diecasts? I mean, like, this diecast I've been wanting to get ever since Wave 7 was released, but I wasn't able to get Wave 7 where I live. So, yeah. Thank goodness I finally have this diecast in Austin Dillon. i never seen this diecast in, in real life before I actually did a couple of days ago when I went to that Walmart in Florida. So, yeah, two pretty neat diecasts. I won't put them in the screen because they would cover up these cars. So yeah, let's just put them off to the very side. So yeah, let's actually get to the rest of the flea market diecast that I've gotten. Uh, um, let's actually start off with this diecast that is able to be taken off the package easily. It's um, Bill Elliott's 2000 um, McDonald's 94 for Taurus for the Winston Cup series. And yes, this isn't those die casts that you can take off the chassis or body and can see the rest of the car. This is actually a full on 164 scale stock car. And I know there's like some stuff here in front of the car that makes it not look good. But I I'll tell you guys. Once I'll take this out of the package, once I do the die cast review, it will look neat. It will look so beautiful because I've already taken this out of the package and it looks glorious. Uh, oh my god. I don't know why I just did that. And yes, it is from Action Racing Collectibles. Bill Elliott, 94 McDonald's, 2000 Taurus, or Taurus. Um, one out of 18,216. And I believe the 11071 is the number of the diecast. I don't know, maybe. Here's one of the cards, or it's the exact same card as right here. So, yeah, that's another diecast. Let's actually just cover this up with these diecasts since you've already seen them for almost half an hour. So, yeah, get this. Um, let's see what other diecast. Alright, so this is a 2004 Tony Stewart Home Depot 20 um, Chevrolet Monte Carlo from the Cup Series. So yeah, I got this diecast because I don't have a Tony Stewart diecast that, that has this paint scheme with the Chevrolet on it. So yeah, it's actually pretty cool that I finally have this diecast. And yeah, for a guy that I has seen... TNT Man 93 for a long time. I am really happy that I now have this diecast. Shout out to TNT Man 93. So yeah. Um, another cool diecast, as you can see, as you will see here, the hood. It has Tony Stewart's signature right here and the Home Depot logo. There's Tony Stewart with some scratches from the package. Tony Stewart's signature, 20 Winter Circle. All right. About to hit half an hour here in a minute. Alright, so... Oh my goodness, I forgot this diecast was here. Alright, so I might as well just get into this diecast, which was actually one of the unexpected diecasts that I was going to get. Which is... Del Hart Jr.'s 2015 Valvoline Throwback 174... Um... 187 scale diecast. 187, I don't know why I said 174, but it's 187 die cast. As you can see here in the package, it says pull it back and it will let it go. So, yeah. Um, I've actually, ever since this paint scheme got released on Lao Now for the 164 scale, I've been wanting to get it on the 164 scale. Heck, even when I went to the Coke Zero Sugar 400 for 2016, I don't know why I said sugar. 
Um, but ever since ever, when I went to that race in 2016, the exact same race I just did a week ago or a couple of days ago, I actually saw this diecast on the 164 scale with the Cal Yarbrough um, actual car or diecast with uh, the actual car that Del Jr. was throwing back to. It was like the two car set, the Del Jr. diecast. The throwback and with the Kelly Arbor actual car die cast, but for some reason, did not get that. Now I have the 187 scale die cast, which at least I have the the paint scheme in real life, but not on a 164 scale. But oh well, at least it's another add to my 187 scale collection die cast. I'll actually put it right here, right in front of the Bill Elliott and Tony Stewart diecast. Alright. Uh, oh, this is another diecast. This is another unexpected diecast that I was gonna get. And some of you will be w really familiar with the diecast. So just show it in 3, 2, 1. Casey Atwood's 2000 number 27 Castro GTX. Um, Chevrolet Monte Carlo for the Bush series, aka the Xfinity series nowadays, aka the Nationwide series in the middle. So yeah, this paint scheme is actually really good. I actually did not think that I was going to get this car. I didn't even have this car in my mind until I found it. I mean, like seriously. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people will remember this car by the flip. That Casey Atwood had back at Daytona. I'm not even going to add a clip to that when I edit this. Because I'm pretty sure everyone else knows it. So yeah. Um, there's a Casey Atwood card. Casey Atwood. There's his face. There's a number. NASCAR. One in a circle. NASCAR 2000. I mean like. Just wow. I'm really surprised that I have this die cast. Just did not know I was going to get it anytime soon. I didn't even think I was going to get it anytime soon. But just wow. Um, Alright. Alright, let's see what other die cast. Um, how many die casts do I have? I'll have like three more die casts to show you guys. Um, it's actually, oh, I've actually forgot about this diecast. This actually isn't in this kind of packaging. So I'll show you guys, um, the diecast here. This is a Brian Vickers 2006 GMAC, aka Ally nowadays. Um, thanks to NRF with the information. GMAC, um, Motors, I believe. Yeah, General Motors. Yeah, I don't know what the AC stands for, but oh well. Um, 25 Chevrolet Monte Carlo SS for the Nextel Cup Series. This is actually the diecast. Um, I don't know if I said 2006 or not, but it's from 2006. I'm pretty sure you, a lot of you guys remember it by Brian Baker's just dumping out Jimmy Johnson and Dale Jr. for the one at Talladega in the fall. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a um, historic moment. That will go down through time. So yeah, oh my goodness, I have 15% of my battery. Now I have to show these cars really quick. So I better get things moving. Here's Jimmy Johnson's 2002 Power of Pride Lowe's car. So yeah, another cool die cast that I've gotten. In. Um, Let me check the battery real quick. Trying to make sure it's not lower than 15. Still at 15, okay. Um, pretty cool die cast. Um, another one that I wasn't expecting to get, but really cool, really cool. Um, show you the card real quick, Jimmy Johnson and those racing champions. So yeah, barely into the screen. And last but definitely not least, trying to make sure there's no, that there's no other diecast to be shown. Best, last but not least, another one of the most unexpected diecasts to get are, not are, is... Jerry Nadeau's 2003, trying to make sure not to fall, Jerry Nadeau's 2003 U.S. Army 01 Pontiac Grand Prix from the Cup Series. Just a super unexpected diecast to get. I mean, like, the paint scheme's really cool from Thunder 2004, real life, and now to have it here 
in real life in diecast form. It's really, really cool. As you can see here, five and up, race for the chase or race of the chase. I don't know. NASCAR Ultra Series Racing Champions. So yeah, another cool diecast. And the last diecast I'll show you guys. So then I don't actually don't know where to put this. Let me just put this right here. Uh. There we go. I know you guys weren't able to see the diecast in the background from the 2019, but it's so well. Oh, this was a long video, 35 minutes, almost almost 36 minutes. Let me check the battery, 11. I better end this video soon. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I hope everyone enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. This is Racing Fan 24042 here, and see you guys later.